For most of our young audiences, this is their first theatre performance. It's their first time, you know, in a space, interacting with actors, with music, singing, dancing, language, puppets. One more stop to Marble Bar! The inspiration was the old Spinifex Express, which was an old train that ran between Port Hedland and Marble Bar from 1911 to 1952. This old train is an icon of the Pilbara. It was one of the most remote rail lines in the world. You travel through the most extraordinary country and meet many of the animals, flora, fauna and people who lived in this area. The show is so special because the children, they get involved in it and you can see on their faces that they're happy and they just react with the songs and, and the animals. My mother, when she was a little girl, she caught the train from Kalindi Station to come to Port Hedland. My mother was only small when she was about eight years old. I used to live up here when I was young um, and something that stuck with me forever and possibly led to me wanting to be a performer was a troupe of actors coming out to a small town in the Pilbara and just showing us that there is more out there than what we have around us immediately. The most memorable reactions were the ones that we had at remote communities. The communities don't really get to see that sort of thing very often. It was just really genuine, really, really engaged and the kids were really happy to be there. There isn't just one group of Aboriginal people, it's, it's a society and a culture that's far more diverse than people realise. The fact that there's 31 different language groups in the Pilbara alone is kind of a testament to that. Yeah, it feels like a real privilege to be part of it because it's about sharing culture and language with Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal kids. One of my favourite shows, we had five kids in that audience that day. They started singing straight away to the music. They started mouthing the words along with us. They, um, they were so engaged that they started using their own language um, for different animals they saw. And we were like, oh, this is awesome. And I wonder what the sort of chatter is now about that in that town. And then we rolled out. I go out jumping like kangaroos and swimming like turtles and waving their hands, waving their maras, waving, stamping with their jennas. It really has been quite special. And then when they get to meet some of the animals at the end of the show, that, that actual one-on-one -on -one contact is, is very special as well. It gives the kids language, history, education. It's extraordinary what a show like this leaves behind. And the discussions between parents and children leaving the theatre are amazing. Those conversations will go on for months and years. Arts and education, they're the two things that I believe in most in the whole world. I think change can happen through arts and education.